In this video, we're going to be discussing how Savient provides solutions to protect Amazon Web Services. First and foremost, Savient provides visual dashboards to provide quick visibility into the number of resources, such as IAM users, EC2 instances, RDS, S3, etc. Additionally, this dashboard shows violations that are occurring within these infrastructure resources, such as EC2 instances that have SSH ports open to the outside world, or maybe S3 buckets that aren't encrypted. Additional dashboards can be visualized for compliance aspect, as they're mapped to CIS benchmark best practices, such as root MFA disabled. Here you can see S3 security buckets. Server-side encryption is disabled, logging is disabled, or maybe versioning is disabled. There is a wealth of dashboards that can be displayed here. As you can see from a wide variety of analytical controls available out of the box, I'm gonna drill into one such AWS resource, S3 buckets, where logging has been disabled. Here you can see the details of this analytical control. The account ID, the bucket name, and other valuable information that provides you that visibility. Savior provides a powerful elastic Kibana search engine that visualizes all the cloud trail logs. Here you can see the count and gaining more visibility, such as EC2, root users, S3, etc. We can break this down further by regions and or sign-ons into AWS. Not only does Savior provide visibility into your configuration, but it also allows preventative rules to be configured. Therefore, once you have configured your AWS resources to follow best security practices, you can stay in compliance with these preventative rules. We've partnered with AWS Config, CloudWatch events, etc. Let's take a look at one of these preventative rules. Here you can see production workloads that have SSH ports open. As soon as this action or this event is detected, we can then take actions to notify compliance officers or security managers that you have infrastructure that isn't configured correctly. One key aspect Savian offers is the ability for end users to elevate their privileges on a time-bound method. An end user, Lewis in this case, is presented with a list of privileged roles he can request access to. During this request process, you'll see how this is time-bound. So let's say Lewis is covering for a coworker who is on vacation. Lewis needs to become compute administrator for a week while his coworker is on vacation. So he adds that privileged role to the cart, and then we check out. After Lewis checks out this privileged role, he's then presented with a start date and an end date. So this is going to provision automatically on the start date and deprovision automatically on the end date. Any activity that's captured in the CloudTrail logs is then presented to compliance officers to review the activity Lewis had while he had these elevated privileges. You can see here, this analytical control for privileged users audit trail, any activity that Lewis took during elevated privileges is listed here. A compliance officer can review whether or not this was appropriate and remediate those actions if they weren't. Savient's AWS capabilities don't end there. It's common to have identity lifecycle management for end users. Here you see Savient's access request system. Christina is requesting access for herself and the requestable entitlements include AWS groups, AWS roles, AWS policies, and even cross-account roles. Christina can select any number of these entitlements and follow our business-friendly workflow engine. The key to all the functionality Savient provides around Amazon Web Services is the ability for us to aggregate multiple AWS account information per user. Here you can see Ethan Harris's AWS account information from the last login date, usage information, and more importantly, how Ethan has been granted rights to a variety of AWS resources. Here we can see Ethan as a member of multiple AWS policies, and we can dig into that policy down to the EC2 instances in which this policy provides privileges to, down to the actual EC2 instances, which rights have been granted. In summary, Savient helps protect, govern, and secure Amazon Web Services, both privileged access management, visibility, and preventative controls.